Ae mukesi wa mangwe. Vegu kumuwe vegeta wa. Ene wa mwepe ope ndana mafumu wa chivanga eti. Veri jenanga nga fitewa niri jenanga mkwa na wananga muru wa wakoro wo. Wabongonge na wachinao. Ae gwa mesenga na wana wo. Zizi zuko mbori rotoma. Thank you, Re Koribu Angamanda. As we getting seated, my name is Mr. MC. I'm going to run this program. I'm not alone, Dinabo Keteni Mbodi. And we are just doing our welcoming remarks, opening remarks. Zizi Batubach Kozura as the family is taking their and then we take it from there. Um, the word of God says something very interesting in the book of Jeremiah. Uh, it was a word to Jeremiah. The word of God says, for I knew you. For, for I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. But I like what it said, Kazi, Ka chapter your previous. I think it's in chapter one, men of God. I stand to be corrected. The word of God says, for I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. And I want to say to Ma, Mea Katushero, Mudzimu na zhezhi baba bachi zhidiiva. Karezi angambopo, Mudzimu zhezhi baba bachi zhidiiva. Vomu diva, katu kozi ya chinaki, asa tu bebiwa, va diva na zoro tutuari in. Zhiyamba he knew the purpose. And as a Christian, I stand to believe the purpose has been served. Zinala mudzimu, galire ndiwe. As we start, Zozo Zambori, Namadubo Ovarua, Zino Ovarua, Machinapano, Irnam Sanda, Vanezzo, Richukon Ramba, Rubokungurua, and the Machinar Nam Sanda, whenever do a foot of Amdinda, she monitor Christo, Ardu. Carry Bonyamatori, it at a bed. Mzimu kote mrena basu Yesu Christo ma cheloni adobala na musi Riri wakati chelo kuru ya mzimu Yeya rivusa wa mashangoni opamana na o mitani opamana na o Roda mzimanga pano adobala na musi Richkosi tazongo na washu zinani la yisu Kote ba manda oteri umbera chilizi chavo Chinecha kono ufumuza, chinecha kono utika, chinecha ito uriza pese seyi, zipese siwe, ngambiru zashu na ngamimu ya yashu. Kukume jiramu itami wili kei, mutam tzimanga wambodi, mutam tzimanga wapaswana. Zihurwane mtzimanga wana washu, mtzimanga utu chero wa unga mufuna wawe, 
Tumanga mwana usara wazidani la isu. Rini mtumanga wumachero. Amena mwana mtumanga riba kurubu kumeze la kavone. Korabela mtumanga mtawambodi mtumanga na awo. Rio vaso su mtumanga wazi ginyeya. Susu mtumanga wana zibuso unji sineba sabina pinduro. Kori chanda, chamanda, chamzimu, kachiba kubateze, chiba tonde. Fila wane mtumanga liribone tao, wane msibo baba nyamanda. Lariba sako ni baba nyanungo unji. Kaziraro, machero ni adubala na musi, zina ni laiso kristo. Kukume tina mtumanga bachimi za mshumo. Kukume tina mtumanga manda batubote bane babaka program. Zura ni mtinda, chimo ni cha kristo. Ane wabe ya fungo kaye la uamba na redarote. Ngai so kristo wa manda liko tero msimu. Patori farisa wa chitero ulisiwa na ukodu wa zida labo. Ngai so kristo msimu ni adivuwa. Amen. Thank you so much, Riko Libuwa. Welcoming and acknowledgement of guests as we get a short song with the watch called Double Mrs. Rachel Mwambat. Masamu baby, waba uchiko amba, mwana wawo o ebera falani. Ndi inga titairo nanga maifi musirishko ya panda, vasongo mangai. Nenudo imera uba tanganeza, samuta wa hambodi, rowo na zofani la uri, riba tanganeze, vasisuku damu dini. Basa tanga niziwe. Riko suivu wana uri bukati hashu wafanuni. Una mahosi samsi wano diambi wana misanda minji. Ndobandi chido umbera uri bantuse riru uve. Ariru uve. Riko tanga neza mahosi yote ya neba bukati hashu wafanuni na misanda yote. Riko uu. Tanga neza, vati ndaba mzimu vote, vani baba bukati hashu. Basi kwa uvaka zikereke zofa mba nanao. Riko tanga neza, kereke ya apostolic faith mission. Na vuranga panda ayo, na vati ndi vote, vono kereka kayo. Roba vona vike yote. Rekoba tanga neza. Rekoba tanga neza. Na kereke yaba nabashu. Yeba dinangera uri ba jenayone. Vahone bukatiashu. Ignite Lighthouse. Rekoba tanga neza. Na wye ni ote. Ofeleke zao. Vafunzi vonishpefe. Une yaba bukatiashu. 
Riko utanga neza mita hei mibiri. Muta wa, mua, wa, wa, wa paswana. Na mashaka ote. Na muta wa mbodi. Na mashaka ote. Riko batanga neza. Riko utanga neza. Shumisani baba na bashu. Shumisani wa mbofo na katuchero. Riko batanga neza. Riko tanga neza zikonani zo dao ziti vape tofamba na nao. Provinsi ingwe na ingwe. Hova mutu na utanzi. Riko batanga neza. Riko doba hapu. Ratanga neza. Mutu mwana mungwa ya neva hapa. Ringa stuvara anga muti inga muti. Watu vodala anga manda. Ringa dobi ya rakaka. Rasia naba angwe. Ritanga neza. Naba bende haba nuni. Nga urumusi ichi kuhulira ichi rali. Rifamimu ya ashi ichi takuwa. Riko tanga neza. Mutu mwana mungwa ya neva hapa nuni. Arali. Jiso ngo shike ilakavo. Kaba ditele feva, wari ndo tanga neziwa. Ngori ariko yosia na mtu na mti, riko tanga neza vatu vote kawo mshumo. Rika uyu mshumo, una chipida, niko ba tanga neza ka chipida, chone cha doa chiko toma, chipida cha celebration. Ka chipida cha celebration, ndi chipa tanga neza, ndi rudoba una mudu waone. Niko ba tanga neza na unu mudu waone, wa musiri chiko u... Pembele la uchiro, haka tuchero, Stanley, mbodi. Kari ya rivu celebrate. Ngore aranga dodo, rivu celebrate. Rivu dodo wako rabana chipida cha uvili, chine rado wako mpelekeza. Kudo wako wana mungo mudu nga, nga chene chuchipindi. Nendi kwa batanga neza kazi tuzo tezo. Wane bangari itera feva, kanabari, bangari tikeza rai mawa zwabu dinga manda. Rafa rotike ya Rafa roko hatise ya Rafa Rishinga kono ii mazabudi Arali Vatonipa Uyi mshumo wakatushero Stanley Mbodi Nikoto topo la checho chitu chitipezi Nikosha wajira na bangu maifia Kwa nungo dodo do tanganezi Oba engwana Ane abana respect Chote Zinondo andu kuhumbe la uriri Neroti rapa Kari eze katu chero, kari tonipe, woi mshumo wawe. Ndishiko raro ndi kwa mbela uru, usongoba na mingwe mimiti nga nge itungo. Usongoba na mangwe mazuro nga hange ini, nga uri, rori rikoda upeleke za katu chero Stanley Mbodi. Kari anane na zera dela zoni. Kaba febo tanganizi wa vote. Arali, una zungwe zuneba kotoda. Una ba atuwa fala wano komona mwana, una ba sidza nane fala, wado wa sumbeza, wado wa tusa, ka zuneba kotoda zoni. Nduri huu. Muya wakatushero, wa delenga mrao. Thank you so much, Rikulibu, for bathrooms. As you exit the tent, the first building you'll be facing on your left, those are bathrooms for both male and female. Come to me all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There'll be a point where it will be heavy. To hear more about the word of God, Mudzimuwa na mtuweba mtopora na musi To come and comfort us Rote Na mashaka na zikona ni nabazula sin Baone bafunzi wa kuhuta But before I call him I'll just emphasize one announcement I see people are still standing outside there Whoever doesn't have a seat We have an overflow On the left side My left side and your right hand side When you're facing me Una screen you won't miss anything Right now, the band, our worship team, you'll assist me. Let's usher the man of God.
unabafunzi bane babahone asimuswa hambodi asimuswa hapa sana uva pretoria ni bafunzi pastor apostle hamfri nechipepe uva ignite let's ashaya mupiwera utu bichewa Here we came here, we are here because we love them, we 
love the families, we love, we love Katu. Um, and we, I pray that God will give you comfort for the word that we will share here. And I want to just appreciate as well and just appreciating um, the support and every respect that is being given to the family. But I want to read here from the second book of Timothy, chapter 3. And I will read this in two versions, which says, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. Now, in the contemporary English version, it says, you can be certain that the last days, that in the last days there will be some very hard times. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the reading of your word. What else can we say as humans? when comfort is needed. But Father, also, what is the meaning of comfort in a season of loss? Your thoughts are much higher than our thoughts. Your plans are much higher than our plans and much greater than our plans. And I pray that you release your plans and your thoughts and your heart to thy people in Jesus' name. Amen. So the Bible says in the last days, and we are living in the last days, hard times will come, stressful times will come. Stressful times. And these are days of stressful times. You will also notice that after 2020 COVID, I read an article which highlights the difficulty of what we face, where people who did not even seem to, to listen, some of them would just pass on. These are hard times. And furthermore, if I'm to read from the English contemporary uh, version here, it says from verse 2, so that we have the context of this verse, people will love only themselves and money. They will be proud, stuck up, rude, disobedient to their parents. They will also be ungrateful, godless, heartless, hateful. Their ways will be cruel, they will have no self or self-control or pity. These people will hate everything that is good. They will be sneaky, reckless, and puffed up with pride instead of loving God. They will love pleasure. Even though they will make a show of being religious, their religion won't be real. Don't have anything to do with such people. And in Second Peter chapter 3, the Bible says, My friends, this is the second letter I have written to encourage you to do some honest thinking. I don't want you to forget what God's prophets have said would happen. You must never forget what the Holy Prophets taught in the past. And you must remember what the apostles told you our Lord and Savior has commanded us to do. But first, you must realize that in the last days, some people won't think about anything except own selfish desires. They will make fun of you. And in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, which will also give us a picture of these stressful times, from verse 37, the Bible says, But as the days of Noah were, 
so also will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark. And did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field. One will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding at the meal. One will be taken, the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know that if the master of the house had known what, the hour, what hour the thief would come, he would have rushed and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. In Ephesians 5, 15 and 16 it says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Psalm 90 verse 12 says, So teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. And in Hebrews 9, 27, furthermore the Bible says, And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. And lastly, Mark 9, 43 to 48, it says, And if your hand causes you to see, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life made, rather than having two hands to go to hell into the fire that shall never be perished. Where the worm does not die, and the fire is not quenched. And if your food causes you to see, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame rather than having two feet to be cast into hell. Into the fire that shall never be quenched. Where their worm does not die. And the fire is not quenched. And if your eye causes you to see, plug it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Where their will does not die and the fire is not quenched. All the scriptures are giving us direction regarding life after death. Death, we all are afraid of death. But the Bible shows us from the scriptures also that are ready. There is another life coming. As they were singing here. That there is another life coming. There is another joy coming. Life doesn't end. In Hebrews 9, 27 that I read, it says, Man have an appointment with death. Every one of us has an appointment with death. That time will end. Everything is about to end. The Lord Jesus that we believe in will soon be coming back. I don't know how long that soon is. So the Bible says in Psalm 90, Lord, teach me to number my days. That I may gain a heart of wisdom. In this life, in preparation of the life that is coming. When everything ends, another life starts with God. When only God is in charge. The devil, the Bible tells us, the kings of this world. But there is a life where only Jesus reigns. When even the Bible says, death, where is your sting? That brings a unique pain. 
It is different from every other pain. Hence, the only one that can bring us comfort is when we run to God and say, Lord, on our own, we have no control of life. We all want to live many years on earth. But we have no control of life. But as we see it, we don't know how many days God has planned and prepared for us, as the program director highlighted. You don't know if you are not listening to the last message. You don't know if you are not attending the last funeral. You don't know if the next funeral is not going to be yours. There are decisions to make. I believe even when Carter and Boko came through, there were decisions they had made. There are decisions that each one of us must make. Death is not key, but you want to make some decisions before death strikes. The Bible shows us how Jesus came on earth, how he died for each one of us, because God loves us. God loves each one of us sitting here. And so he gave Jesus that Jesus may come to rescue us even from these stressful times. Hard times. Then it brings stresses upon men. But you can say, Lord, I have no control of life. I hope to no key to the future of my life but you. When Jesus came and died on that cross, when Jesus came and suffered a great deal on that cross, when Jesus came and died for you, even if you were the only one alive, I believe Jesus would have died for you as an individual. That's how much he loves you. You are so dear to his heart that Jesus had to suffer and die. But on the third day he rose again. And the Bible says, anyone that comes to Jesus, their sins are forgiven. Despite, it doesn't really matter the load of sin anyone has made. God, the God we serve is a forgiver because he is a loving God. Sometimes we are overwhelmed, not knowing what to do. The Bible says, in the Hebrew language, the word coincidence doesn't exist. Which means that everything is by God's divine purpose. There are things that happen by God's divine purpose. That God is able to turn the pain and bring joy in the place of pain. When Joseph was sold into Egypt, he said to his brothers, you guys intended to get me, but I'm telling this, but God has turned this for your good and for my good. No matter how painful this death is, but God is able to turn things around also for you. God is able to turn things around and pour out his love upon your life. God is able to turn things around. It is our prayer as we sit here to move to the parents to say, Nahum 1 9 says, The Lord is putting it to an end, to an utter end. The affliction shall not rise up a second time. It is our prayer and desire that this should never happen in this family again. It is our prayer that this should never happen to any one of us. It is our prayer that God should give us many days on earth. However, there are decisions we must make. And you can say, Lord, I have seen that life is too short. 
I was hoping personally to still meet with Katu. I was hoping personally to still engage many things with Katu. I was hoping. But only God knows the number of your ones. The Bible says you need to redeem the time for the days are. We all know our, our birth days, but we don't know our death days. Days. And I pray that God will give you wisdom through Jesus. That God will give you a heart that embraces his counsel and his love. He wants to forgive you. Oftentimes we are told how much God hates this or hate that. But I'm here to tell you that whatever you have gone through, the God we serve wants to forgive you. He wants to bring you peace. Some people battle, these are stressful times. Some people battle with suicidal spirits, suicidal thoughts. But I'm here to say, please, don't take that route. Because there is someone that loves you. His name is Jesus. He can rescue you from whatever condition. He can break the yoke of that stress. These are stressful times, but there is only one Jesus that says, my burden is light. My yoke is easy. In Christ Jesus, the burden is light. The yoke is easy. If you open your heart and say, Lord Jesus, the burden is too heavy for me. I don't feel I can continue in this life. But it says my yoke is easy. My burden is light. I pray that God will give you wisdom to understand your purpose and his purpose. To help you number the days of your life. You may be hearing this word as I'm about to pray. You may be hearing this word and God is releasing this word to help you so you can start thinking about your life. Life is too short. Oftentimes we think we still have time. But nobody has time. God is in control of time. And I pray that you will gain wisdom. You will take this word. Embrace this word. And say it was on the day that Katu was buried. His name may even be a prophetic expression to your life. I, I pray that God will release upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to pray. And firstly, I'm going to pray for the family and specifically for Mbobo here. I want to pray because as you go through this stressful season, there are things that humanly speaking we are not able to carry. There are times we may try to be strong, but we don't need to try to be strong. We need to allow God to carry us. And I believe that God wants to carry you. God wants to carry you. God wants to bring you to a place in the arms of God that is comfort. When the Israelites were in Egypt, God said, when I see the blood, I will know where you stand. And I want you to really understand, it is in the blood of Christ that we are uplifted. Don't depend upon your own wisdom. Depend upon the wisdom of God. 
This doesn't need wisdom. It requires dependence. This just requires you to depend upon God. Wisdom is limited. But dependence is unending. He's a faithful God. If you may allow me to ask my wife to come here that as we offer a special prayer for you. And we want to declare a prayer of agreement we have, for the family. We have come to support you. Sometimes it's just overwhelming to know where to start. But God knows where to start. God knows exactly where he must touch you. Beautiful. So faithful. He's so faithful. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. Sometimes God will take us through stuff. Not knowing that you desire to bring comfort to others. And we want to pray for God here, Lord. We stood here and prayed and declared blessings upon their lives, Lord. On, their, on that wedding day of theirs. We did not know, Lord, that we're going to be standing here today. But you knew it all. For you are all knowing that there is nothing you do not know. So we ask in the name of Jesus that you stretch forth your mighty hand of grace and mercy. We pray in the name of Jesus that you cover them in your grace. Release the abundance of your love, O oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever the intentions of the devil were, the Bible tells us the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but you have come to give life and life abundantly. Jesus, we pray that you give her life abundantly, even at this very hour, oh my God. In the name of Jesus, we declare that no further damage by the enemy should continue in Jesus' name. We pray that you can turn a curse into a blessing, as your word says. And we ask that you turn this into a blessing, oh my God. You hold her future. You hold her future. You are in charge and in control, Almighty oh God. And we ask that you release the spirit of wisdom and revelation right now, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you open the eyes of her understanding to see what you see, to hear what you are saying, to perceive your revelation. In Jesus' name. And I pray as well, Father, for Bobo's mom as well. She cannot leave for him. But I pray that you give her the wisdom that she needs at this very hour. And you bring great comfort upon him, Lord. In the name of Jesus. You promise to wipe away all our tears. And I pray that you move as you please to wipe away all their tears. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. You are faithful. We still declare you faithful. In Jesus' name. And I pray, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. For God to smile right now, this morning. A lot of things going in their mind. As Mrs. Lillian's 5.23 says, 
May you be sanctified completely. I pray that she be sanctified completely right now, even in her mind, in her emotions, in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, declaring your peace, the abundance of your peace, the abundance of your grace in the name of Jesus. I pray that you turn this curse into a blessing also in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We declare peace. We declare uncommon peace, unusual peace in the name of Jesus. You are the God of all comforts. So we pray that you release all comfort in the name of Jesus. We have no control of life after death, Lord, but you do. Give us the wisdom to understand your thoughts about life after death. Give us wisdom, I pray, straight on your head upon every individual here, Lord. I know you did not prepare those worms and the fire which cannot be raged for any of us, Lord. You did not prepare hell for any one of us, Lord. That's why you sent Jesus that we may open our hearts to receive him. And I pray that the plan of the enemy against souls and individuals and friends and family and siblings sitting here, Lord, bring them comfort. Make them understand that while they are still alive, there are decisions they can make. To redeem the time, I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I give you honor and praise to God. In Jesus' name. Amen. While you are still alive, there are decisions that you can make yourself for your future and for your life. Hell is real. Life after death is real. Heaven is real. May God give you the wisdom to make the right choice in Jesus' name. God bless you. Chimonicha Christo, Zazino Rico Ratera, 
kabatu bene baba bayimeleli bayimeleli ndibonye usibo mufunwa ne chipepe bane badaba boyimelela chibizo bamuditebeli wa ngabo Daniel Mwambazi baduto babana mutiki ngapha tsine nabo ane afi balangana ni bodu dobo to ima uri mukala musiba chambai bambe bokwata zo zino do richpingai ndi cha bomufunwa ne chipepe boyimelela chibizo Shalom. The Ignite House Ministries International, which I am only short in a book or I am I. The Tomega Uru Melissa, a more food, the Chico Melissa, the Diamond, the Billy, in a way of Toba, Namashaka, and that's in Kayo.
my last born was in the chick. He needed a car, so it was very late to organize the car. And he needed a specific car. I think maybe we'll just take whatever car and take him to the metric farewell. But he needed a specific one. So I meant to say, hey, Kato, I have a situation. Please help. Within that week, he connected, uh, he called his friends to organize. And he brought a driver, Lamborghini. It was yellow in color. I don't know whether it was my address or whatever. I don't even know, but I know he's connected. So you will, you will go an extra mile in order to make somebody to smile. Um, when we were doing submission work in Islam, and he was forever there, giving us food, transporting us. He will also say, do you want to sleep in my house or whatever? But I would say, no, it's fine. We will we'll, we'll sleep in the hotel. So he was ready to assist us. And I believe when he was assisting us, he was also assisting the kingdom of God because we are sitting the kingdom of God. Together with the wife, they, 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 will, they will go an extra mile. I remember not so long ago when it was not even there. Bobo took us to a restaurant that we have never been. The whole family, she took the one of us who we went there to have some food, to, to just give us some break from our busy schedule. So um, I still remember the other day, Katu said, you know, I have, um, I'm going to Israel. I have, I have a friend there. When it's Sabbath, my friend doesn't pick up the phone. And I said, it has to be the same with you. Because when it's Sunday, you must also switch off your phone so that People don't call you to say, let's go and attend a meeting, let's go and solve this and that. So we were forever encouraging each other. I took it that Katu is also my son. I have to take good care of him together with the other siblings. So I am saying, um, we have a God who sees everything. He sees our brokenness. He sees what we are going through now. He sees our tears when everyone is sleeping. Um, last year, around Feb, um, they came to church to dedicate their baby daughter. And you will make that statement. There was a dress code for everyone who was invited. So at church, people said we were visited by angels because everyone was putting on white. They were so visible. Um, it was white, star white, and they dedicated their baby daughter. So everything was a wow. So he was not even ashamed of the eyes, not at all. He, he, he put on those expensive shoes. He would, and Bobo would say, look at the closet. He is occupying everything around. So I no longer have the space to put my things. He will move to the other rooms in order to secure his shoes because he loved shoes so, so, so much. So the other day he said, you know what? You know, I'm not, um, I'm not spoiled because my mom taught me even to cook. Katu also used to cook at home. And he, he knew how to clean. Even if, if he was staying there um, in East London, the house will be spotless. The bedding will be quality. You won't think that a man is staying there and when there was no wife. Everything was just perfect. It was just clean because of the way he grew up. Um, We will miss him a lot. Um, there's something that I just want to share. It's just two verses, and it's John 19, 26 to 27. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciples whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciples, Behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her to his own home. So we are children of God. 
And I believe that we can see the gentleman sitting here. We see the wife, we see the daughter, we see the, the mothers, we see the, the siblings, we see that family that lost Katu. So I can just say, if Katu was someone seeing you and seeing the people that love you, he will say, behold my family. So I believe that as children of God, we have to stand together, love the family, take care of the family, encourage the family. When they are crying, we have to give them comfort. We have to be with them. And also, to go oh, behold your two moms. These are your moms. Behold your family. Now you have this big family, including us. We, we are your family. So continue to love, continue to do good. I know you said there are things that you, you want to change, you want to do them differently and for the kingdom of God. I believe though it's hurting, though it's painful, I never expected to not talk to him again. But God is in charge, God is in control, he knows it all. So you will wipe every tear. Sometimes when I look at death, I just say, give him up. Then where is your sting? I tell them, where is your sting? I'm not going to cry. I don't drop tears because of death. I can be hurt, but I will stand strong. So you will stand, stand strong because you are also a strong woman. And my mother will die. The Muslims are full of food. 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 The Muslims are full so Makazuaga, 
Thank you so much. I know I'm very intimidating, short as I am, and my plan was not to intimidate anyone today. So, let's talk about Sendera. So, at some point, you look so much like Dr. Mligo. So, so much. So, I was scared to come next to you. It's not even going. Yeah. 
it's, it's, it's fine. I like what David said in the book of Psalms. He says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. Yet when the iri, laona chimila goba nila tunzi haruf, atiobi mumu. There is another version, yet when the iri, atiobi chitu. Hapaswa na ambodi, kototo re painful as it is, resoma upa chitu. He's God, he's still on the throne, wakadiba unzimu, ene baadiba. I'm going to call two speakers. We call them Roberto Tabote, right? The reason why I want two of you here, Nuri, Ejimu, and Kwama. Oh, oh, Ababale, oh, you imao. So I, I'm not going to bring any chair, right? I want two of you to come to the phone. Oh, you are no Kwama. I already asked a good shit and then catch it and go now. Oh, you are not going to go. Eh, Mr. Lotam Kwebo. Now, this is Anna Mwambazi. And before Achitakua, we have Rufuno Takada. Rufuno Takada is going to render an item. Immediately after Rufuno Takada, the government of Lord and Kwebo, now this is Anna Mwambazi. And I won't be coming back anytime soon until I've seen her.
So they became, they were like twins. Every time I saw them, they were together. In business opportunities, they always went, they always went together. Kantu died this week without all the speak on authority. Any single person he sent. If you deserved it from him, he would give it to you. They stood together for many years, not even once, never ever heard Kantu say, Chief, I have a problem with Peter. Not even once have I ever heard Peter saying I have a problem with Kantu. They've been friends for many years, business partners for many years. I learned from them. As young as, I mean, look young, I'm very old. As young as he was to me, I respected him more. I learned a lot from him. I learned the importance of honesty, the importance of living in peace with people. I'm going to close. And before I close, I want to acknowledge the following. Katu loved his wife. He lived for nobody else but for his wife, his daughter, his mother, and his siblings. He has a very loud brother, by the way, Opa. Very, very loud. But he loved him. He loved him with his all. He loved all his siblings. Whenever there were opportunities in business, he made sure that his siblings had taken them. The rest are short, both. But the husband loved you dearly. He still loves you dearly. He used to annoy us in meetings. Whenever we have board meetings or whatever. And I'm chairing and I'm sitting there. Always that he's on an iPad or he's on his phone. He's talking to his daughter. So we just see him for Chinaki, Chinaki. And I'm speaking here. <laughs> so then I'm like, okay, who's speaking? So it's just please, hold on, I need to speak to my daughter. On a day. On a day. So the rest are short. That is much more than you. And the rest are short. But whatever it is, he loves you dearly. As I said, I'm closing. We've got an annual event that we host here every September, I don't this true, every September and every December. It's called All White Party. As from today, all friends of country, business associates, whoever you are, from this year is now going to be called Katu Mbodi All White Party. in whatever way. You are all invited. We need to see you there supporting the vision that is bestowed upon us, which is now led by his wife. I thank you.
is watching. The angel is watching over us. For the past week, he was preaching honesty, integrity, and fairness. The reason why he was preaching the above it was because in business we work with uh, ex people who want to want to come to them only. There is enough. There is enough shares for everyone. Why can't we share this? Well, because we did. When we when we die, we don't go with it. We leave it behind. And the last one he was preaching was love. Guys, let's love each other. He was the youngest in our second. I was the oldest in the second. <laughs> but he was calling me Mukoman every day. Mukoman, let's love each other. Even the last day of his day of his life. He, he called us and said, Come on, I want to see you. Where are you? Call Peter to come and visit me. Call uh, Papa Jay to come and see me. He was loved by everyone and he loved everyone. He had. Actually, that is called Ufumo. Now. <laughs> Or oh, a love. laugh. <laughs> to love God. He loved his daughter. It's true. Uh, the way Germany was saying. He, his wife every month and he loves everyone who loved him. And those who pretend to love him is always love him. <laughs> he loved he loved my kids as his own. Uh, what and I and, uh, and the two young sisters. When my kids go and visit Uncle Katu and Bobo, I, I know that they are in safe hands because it's love. He it was the uh, definition of love. He loved his works, he loved everyone, he, 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 those who works with him. Long live the spirit of Katu Chagumbodi. Long live me, so rest in peace. Uh, it's a 
Well, I had such a crazy Saturday last week, and at some point I decided not to come through to our meeting, but something kept saying I need to come, and when I got there, boy, did we have fun. We danced, that, we danced the night away and would not allow anyone to sit down. Little did I know that you, you are, it was your last dance. The words that still hang in my head from Saturday night is you saying, I'm your brother for life. I had no idea that was, that was you saying goodbye. As much as it hurt, I chose to remember you as a happy soul that you were. The brother I will call and will come through for me. I can still hear your voice and see you smile and know heaven is rejoicing. It still feels so unreal and I keep thinking someone will, be, will wake me up from this awful nightmare. No by someone But thank you for the teaching I need, uh, brotherhood. The book of Romans says, Neither death or life can separate us from the love of God, because you are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. Good night, my brother. See you in the morning. So, friends,
He truly was a beacon of hope to those who needed it the most. They all had to never discriminated. He loved everyone, regardless of the race, regardless of the gender, regardless of the tribe. I've never met someone like that. You know, sometimes when you live with someone, when you work with someone, you, you, you don't realize how deeply that person is impacting you until they're gone. Um, I think Kato was an angel. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I, I, I think we did realize that we were living amongst an angel, and God took his angel back. God decided when to take his angels back, and unfortunately, it was the time. Um, if we had time, if we knew when to depart and we had the date and, and time, I think um, we could have done this in FNB Stadium. Kato touched a lot of people everywhere. Um, everywhere. When I mean everywhere, I mean everywhere. I remember the one time um, we, were, we were traveling abroad and on our way back, it was me, I was traveling with Mr. Peter, it was Google, so over, etc. And as we got back, we found some brothers of ours from, from Lagos trying to talk to us as we were going back. And we were not giving these guys attention. We were just trying to get home, you know. When we get to the check-in counters, we realized that hey, our bags were actually exceeding what we were allowed for. And the price of them was just too much. Like one bag was 10,000 for so, 8,000 for so. It was a lot of money. Katu went and spoke to these guys. Came back and said, mm, These guys can put our bags in. They don't work at the airport when you. How are these guys going to put our bags in? Can I know they put us, we give them this much in dollars, we give them about 5,000, and they put them in. When we we're not even going to get any tags for these bags, nothing. We just give these guys the bags. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, I'm not understanding. Why would we give these guys our bags at all? These guys are just going to walk away with our bags. We're not going to come back here and look for these guys. It's like, these are our brothers. They will never do that with us. These guys are just hustlers. They are our brothers. <laughs> I just want to be the off one out to give these guys our bags. In the flight, I'm just having a shot. I'm not, I'm not understanding where I'm going. <laughs> I've just given people I don't know my bags. And guess what? We go to South Africa. We went to stand there and our bags appeared. And he said, these are our brothers. <laughs> Whenever we travel, uh, at a reception, you'll find Katu talking to the security. You know, for a long time, you'll find him, you know, to, he wanted to the security guard. Um, two weeks ago, I traveled with Katu from East London. We went to PE. It was me, Katu, it was his brother, Tendo, uh, and Ponyana. Traveled to PE. From PE, we traveled to Johannesburg. And, you know, that meant a lot. He spent time with his brothers that day, that weekend. That week, even convinced me to stay a whole week with him. And all that I saw. Was I didn't realize that this must be the, this might be the last time I'm experiencing Kato. But to me, he was he was doing what he usually does. You know, I remember on the Saturday we decided to prolong our stay and then come back the following day. And we just didn't do anything. We just ordered scooters and we drove around PE. And we came across this old woman who was sitting on the park, celebrating one of them's birthday. Kato's are stopped. We were driving driving these scooters to realize how oh, he stopped it, he's speaking to these old ladies. We turn back, we go there. And Katu says, my brother, it is her birthday. Turn look, do Iwale to this lady. Make us day very special. It could be strange. We did that. The woman was, they were stunned, they couldn't believe it. But to us, it was Katu just being Katu. You know, that is the man he was. Um, what I'm saying here is something that anyone can say because he all touched us the same way. He left an impact. Kaduchela came to Islander, not even from Islander, he 
Lord's uh, Catholic General Foundation, KMF, on an informal settlement in Copas uh, to help people from a place he was never even from, a lost country.
Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Um, I request to all of you is be patient with me. Katu is just not a brother to me. Somebody that I shared my mother's womb with. I've known him for 39 plus years, 39 and eight months or so. I will speak on behalf of my siblings. If they want to add, they will add something. Let me start on the day that our father called him up in heaven. What happened? How I found out that Katu is no more. I, got, I, was, I was not home. My husband kept on calling me, baby, where are you? When are you getting home? But I was, I was, I was surprised with the calls. Like, you wouldn't call like that. Like, if you picked up the kids from school, I'm like, I'm on my way. He kept on calling. When I got home, there was laundry on the washing line that I, 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 I did in the morning. But then it was out. He had, he had removed the laundry, he had closed the windows. I was like, okay, what's happening here? He's like, no, let's go to our bishop's house. Uh, there's something that he wants to do there. The bishop, he has to collect something from our, for our mother. I'm like, ah, are you sick? He's like, no, I'm not sick. I probably just, I think I'm getting a flu or something. And then we went home. We went to, to the bishop's house. When we got there, our bishop and, and, and our mom said, no, let's not sit in the house. This paint here smells. But I'm like, okay, you guys are in the house, so why can't we get inside the house? They're like, no, let's just go sit in our car, like in their car. They look for their car keys, they couldn't find them. They're like, okay, let's sit in your car. Before, before anything, I'm like, no, I know what you guys want to do. I know you guys will tell me Katu is no more. Because I felt it that day around 1, I think it's around 20 to 1. In, in the afternoon. I felt sick for no reason. I just went to the pharmacy. I was, like I said, I was not home. I was in town anymore. I just went to Kids Pharmacy Day and I said to the pharmacist, look, give me anything. I don't know what I'm sick of. Just give me anything. The pharmacist is like, okay. She entered my details in the system. She's like, ma'am, uh, your OTC is, 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 is depleted. I'm like, it's fine. I'll pay cash. It's fine. Medical aid, if it's depleted, it's fine. Give me anything. I was sick. I didn't know why. Only to learn that my dream is no more. Just to show you the connection. I will speak of cartoons, not the cartoons. I will only not speak about the cartoons that everybody knows, like that they met recently, like maybe the last 10 years. But I'll speak about a person that I shared everything with. We're starting from my childhood. Kat was a giver from a young age. I think we moved when we were six. But Kat went. Uh, next door, like all the friends, not, not minding what he's going to eat. And me, I'm actually like, but Katu, why did you give them away? Because I bought them for you and your siblings. It's like, ah, ma, but don't you know, just to, to add on, on what people were saying that it didn't only start now, it's something that he was born with. Katu and I came a long way. Yeah, when we were growing up, walking in Rubash Colony, you can remember back then in the 90s, having a boyfriend or girlfriend was taboo. So, Katu and I would hold heads. So, people would be like, I remember this one day, I was going to ask him, I was going to drop a blood death. I was going to ask him, 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 hey, Katu was angry. Hey, I was going to ask him, this is my twin sister, what are you doing? You know, what are you saying? That's how tight we were, like, you know, we would walk holding hands. We would walk, we would do everything together. Like, people were like, hey, you might do one. You might do one, you know? We, I remember even school. Uh, there's a time where I wanted to change schools. But then the schools that you couldn't enter for certain reasons. And I'd be like, no, it's cool. I'll, I'll go to the same school. We'll go to a school for a week. The, the, the connection that we had. So I had to make logic. I tried to write. I had no ways to write. I just said, "Do the sopamba, whatever comes to mind." On the day, actually on Sunday, Sunday the the, the 6th of August, Tendo called me and said, "Hey Muna, call me Muna." 
I'm like, what's wrong? Like, ah, the money's all right, right. I just decided that we say it's Badera because they were camping in Abu uh, in Northwest. And then I called him. He's like, baby girl, I'm fine. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, ah, no, man, I'm just on oxygen. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. You know? And then the last call that, that she made was on Monday, the 7th of August at eight minutes past seven. Umakazi, how are you? Let me go on. It's like, I'm okay. I'm fine. Umakazi, the right. I love you, Umakazi. The right, don't worry, don't stress. Little did I know that that was the last phone call that my brother and I are uh, gonna have. I loved Katu dearly. He loved me beyond human comprehension, many might not understand. He did not do it maybe in the open, like maybe about this is what I do for my sister or whatever, but Katu and I had uh, uh, each other's back all the time. Even our first job, we had a funny enough the two connection, we had our first job the same what is it, uh, our first job the same, the first the same day. It was August 2007. That's when, no, 2005, sorry. He got his job at Vodacom. I got my job at ACBC uh, too. So we were happy that day, we celebrated. So did you see that connection? We both looked for jobs, but we got our calls on the same day. I have found fond, fond, fond memories of, of, of Katu. And now I just feel it's time for me to celebrate his life, to accept that he's no more. I'm not gonna question God, but I'm gonna trust God that he knows why and he's going to guide us going forward. It's not easy. Katu was there for me and Drazote financially and otherwise. Katu is just for a phone call away. It's like, Makazi, you don't lack me on For the matches, I also didn't lack back then when we were working. I lacked nothing when my brother was there. And uh, I remember the last deep conversation that we had was on the 5th of July. It was like, my sister, the new venture that you're going into now, I'm very proud of you. Do it. It's something that I've been hoping you do it. I'll support you in every way. And I know God is about to bring a breakthrough now. It is time. Do it. I'm behind you. Talk to whoever. I'll do it. I'll support you. Be it financially or connections or whatever, I'll do it. So, I would say that my brother is at peace now. He ran his race. He touched lives. Whether he knew you or he didn't, Katu touched people's lives. And what his friend said about tips, about uh, uh, packing attendance, you'd go with him, I'll speak of Tawani Mall because I'm um, based here home. You'll be with him at Tawani Mall. The packing attendants will come to him. They'll be like, there's this guy who called him Ricky Ross, uh, Rick Ross. They'll be like, hey, Rick Ross, the American guy. And then we just tip him. They give him about maybe a lot of money. Like the guy would, would be shocked, like I, I didn't expect to work for this today, you know? He'd go to a, to a restaurant, he'll tip more than the bill, you know? That's how he was. He felt, if I can change somebody's life, let me do it. My brothers, I know it's not easy. Chilizi, that is gone. He was a pillar. When daddy left, he had to took over. But you know, God is there. For as much as God was helping him to take care of us, God is not going to leave because God is not here. God's death does not remove us from the love of the Lord. Tendo, I know you were probably the one of the, those who are very close to him because you worked with him. You were with him day in Job. I know it's not easy, but God will give us strength. Let's continue. Let's carry on the legacy. Shinaki is here. She still needs us. Mbofo is here. She still needs the body family. It doesn't mean that Katu is not, Katu is not here. We're not family anymore. That has changed it to Chinaguchi Awane, Ugoti Bapatiashu, still needs Makazi, still needs Ubakuti Mnene Awe. Oba, I cannot even say you will talk for yourself because you and your brother. May he cut his soul, rest in peace. I'll forever love him. I cried last night for him a lot. I need peace with it. Today I told myself I'm going to celebrate my brother. I cried. The Lord gave me strength. And I know that is at peace. He's smiling now and saying, baby girl, 
I'm home now with my father for eternity. I lived for 39 years, but I did, for this young 39 years, I did to them for eight years, could not say I've done them. But we lived every day like, I don't know, to the fullest. So I'm saying to you all, let's continue to carry on with what Katu did, with how Katu lived. Let's tell you if you can make a difference in someone else's life, continue doing that. I thank you. So, what this boy did, as we're sitting in the restaurant, uh, I don't know many people who have been in China, there's a problem of space. So, we're all sitting, eating, so they said they want to go to them. So, they know that there's a, there is a language barrier to speak with those people who are the app. You know, you type in English, you type in Chinese, so it takes long. So, this Chinese guy, Show them uh, another door to go in. So as they went there, they see taps, something like a urina. So they went they came in. So as they came in, I mean, I can see a Chinese man coming. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> what is happening? I ask him. So these guys, they went to the mosque. So before you go, the church must wash off it. So this guy is the well big. So uh, this guy said, look, they said uh, we should call uh, uh, their father uh, because this needs uh, the, the, the elders. So I said to them, okay, we're going to be sitting in the restaurant. Uh, so when we got there, we were waiting for those uh, guys to come. Come to the line. They just wait, maybe they'll just charge us. And I said, hey, man, are you for real? What if they decide to just take us? Let us run. <laughs> so we took the different direction. So just to, to confuse, uh, 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 if, should they follow us? So as we took that direction, uh, uh, we catch a taxi, we travel something like an hour for, for, for a distance that's supposed to take us. Uh, about 20 minutes. We go very fast. The very same day, we go into the hotel. They are tired. They are telling us, this is your man. Because we said, look, don't carry our man. He lost something like about $50,000. They said, this is your man. I said, this is not, it's not our man. Our man is in the back. When we work up, there is no man. So one day I learned about Chinese, we went there. He said, told you guys, this is your money. You don't try to give them money, they refuse to take anything. So that is why I forever shouting them. Even today, some of them are sitting outside because they were late. So when it comes to Kato, enough cannot be said. Honestly speaking, it will take the whole day and for the interest of time. Like I say, he was a brother to me, a friend, and all that everybody said about Kato, he was a very respectful person. With regard to him and his twin, Estlova, 
Former cats, but cats are not big. It used to be a fight. But we'll say we treat her and faith because she's a girl, she must cook, she must clean. So I end up alternating them. But okay, we clean, we do the dishes, one cooks and all that, you know. So in closing, I just want to thank you, all of you who come from all walks of life. And I believe that as we are going to uh, a plant cattle, because I believe as an African person, a person doesn't die. We are replanting him. He will multiply one way in our lives, and as he did, and it is true that maybe sometimes we expect to see angels with wings and all that, you know, like fairies. But that uh, was a, a rare species. I thank you. May God bless you. Say, Katu Le Pacho is a hola in David Chini, or Debbie, who by when shouted us about the dishes. I catch a one of I let me run away here, go to Rex Central. I is a plus IT. Why don't you go for engineering? Do mechanical and reinforcement. I want this. After so many years, did the boom seventeen concrete is like an car to overception. I once told you that I will be a specialist one day. Ah. After so many years, car to I will be happy. I will be happy for Katu. This is my prayer. Uba will shout at me last time two months back, or one month back. Our nephew at the hand, we all met at dance. Kato, Ada, and the wife. Right, it's a show in David. David, you are here, make a mouth. You are here, make a mouth. Good David, you know. Baba, no, we, ba, ge, ba, do, lo, ba, ba, ko, ebo, ko, ne, masito. I just want to say to you, my brother, rest in peace. Go and tell our grandfather Jackson, ko, ebo. Go and tell. Our uncle, O Chris, go and tell our uncle, Ebon Chigita, go and tell our uncle, Ebon Chigita, go and tell our mother, Grace, go and tell um, our, our mother, O Susan, or one day, no honor, let her feet. Lala, daughter, my daughter, will really be a dad. I would like to kiss you all in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. And uh, I talk, but I'm not a public speaker, so please bear with me. And uh, I just want to say, uh, I can say it's, uh, Katu was amazing. All these things that have been said about him, it's not because of his passing. It's true. Katu was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, I was supposed to join them on their weekend away in Rustenberg. It's just, unfortunately, I wasn't there. <laughs> Oh, 
Baba, 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 That's how the word is. And, and when you see the pastors, you can think of. It's the word. I'm telling you, a powerful commander. And you can't read this word and remain the same. So, and that's why each condo bar, by the way. For six months, because there is wisdom in the word. So what I'm going to do now in COVID um, the in laws. Uh, oh, that's it, Los Apapanda, because it's uh, Mr. Emmanuel Popi, as well as Mr. Eddie Paswana, Rich Kwasha Rwangarwimbo, 
Vasco da Gagnon. So
Katru uh, was all I could ask for in, for in a brother-in-law. He was loving, caring, and supporting. Now I am sad to see him go. I, I am also privileged to have shared my life with him. I love him dearly, and it broke my heart to lose him. I will miss him immensely. Yes, he is no more physically with us, but he will remain in our hearts forever. We will, we will cherish the memories we share with him. Uh, to us who are here, let's take comfort knowing that he is now with God. Rest well, brother. Thank you. Following up, uh, I was 
Some of them, we see them here. We see them here. Some of you are already saying, no problem. I will be here. You done it with the budget as I will. Come here. The Bandikala Monday to Friday. Let him rest in peace. Let him rest in peace. Let him rest in peace. If you want anything, I'm here.
The last couple of days have been. Was it twenty five to January nineteen eighty four? Lola 
Wana wea wa asa tekukumusi. Asa kwa terimutu. Wana nga wamafuna. Wana nga wea wa afite naka zore zisarugi zudomuka. Owa asa funi mapungu. Asa na zichere. Ni mutu wea ava mwona mwona achikomo semilatini nae. Afazulio zao. Achimea ngandere ino mangaza. Awa mwona wea wasi mbi asa mbibi ka ushaka. Owa asa asa mutu wana tenda kauri. Mutu asa na chitu eno ofara asa pe mutu. Owa china namba ava eno asa asa na chitu. Nimwana wewe wachifuna na wana wamiya wunga dhra ima gazao. Musikosi ya wache kisiya. Katshelo ohu za arimao. Masomu bile ilanga rukosi ya na wakulisi ya ndono haluo. Nito toko mela patichezi. Nitu nilanga. Natoko mela chilizi na tenu. Nito wa karazi. Na wako maana. Na doba naba kuzi, kaba naba miyanga. Mawe, ni doba toko mela. Aambahari, miyanga, ni andiba yoba takuwa honi. Zote zoba zuhita, wa chito mbime, ni mbuna. Zuto zwa zwa ni mbuna ni wanga. Sulena gasulaka ili zore, nisongo tuwe na kure nani. 
Uvaone aruzu betore ni fori katu on. Surani nisi na na wana chila kawa. Karifara ni chizi na chendo na pati chizi. Katu on nisi na chika na surani nisi uchilo pan. Nyapori ni difori wa na open. Gar katu wa. Offer a chip that you could see out. Not your own command, no baccarats. And chat the Governor Nine, the Governor Kalu, a woman of his and Arna Mogul. Little money, Chiamo, someone of our pilot, which was in the boat. She might get in a mobile of the city, but I should not watch him in a quit of Chibun. Gaudiyutiwar, <laughs> I video Therefore, we are this bad and out the door of the this is one of the other people who are not able to get the money. I was 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 able to get the money. And Be on standby for the upcoming audio, but we'll only play it uh, right after Sengi Wemsawa set. Can we just put our hands together for Sengi Wey? Ooh. 
good lives and they knew of his existence in the world. Mm. And so, so we started speaking on Instagram because it was someone I knew. Mm. Okay, no problem, we'll go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But I had friends only. Mm. I was like, okay, fine, this guy is my friend. And so um, we're talking, 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 and then Abuya. And I later then found out that he actually came back to see me. But when he came back, it was December, when he came back from East London to come to Ben, he was staying at a hotel. And I was like, oh, me, I was driving a day. Why would he then be staying in a hotel? So I was like, and so he asked me to come and see him. But I was like, oh, he's busy he's with his friends and, and things are not going on. He's clearly not at home, so peace. <laughs> and then at the night, he came to the waterfront. His friends go so I was waving, waving, waving. He didn't see me. And then um, we didn't speak of a church, but I mean, it's my friend. Then he sent me a message to say he's going back to the state. You know, December is busy. So on Christmas, I video call him. Then I go, I we're happy, saying hi, hi, hi. How are you? Merry Christmas. And, and, and he said, then. Actually, yeah, and I understand one he had given up, and then maybe this person is not interested. When I called on Christmas, he was like, actually, maybe there is a chance. <laughs> so we started talking, 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 and then my mom and I were going on a Europe trip. So we went on our Europe trip in January, and then. Our first stop was Paris. When we got to Paris, I then had a, a glass of wine. And when I had a glass of wine, eh, it didn't work out the way that I expected it to work out. Um, and so I went back. I was sharing a room with my mom. And I never share a room with my mom when I travel. We shared a room. So I then went back to my mom's, to our room. And then the man is to Chibra So my mom was, asking me what happened, uh, did you drink and blah, blah, blah. So I said, yes. And then we slept and my mom was not happy at all. So I never got to a plan I have to explain myself. I mean, I'm an adult, at, I'm, I'm 29. So I, I, I have to come up with a plan. I then cut to a friends. See, but at this point I can say mm -mm, this person wants more than just friendship but he's not exactly saying anything so I then send him a text message and say Yo, this and this is what happened last night and so um, so I am going to say to my mom I'm very very single very single at that time um, so I said to him, I'm going to say to my mom that my boyfriend allows me, when, when I am with my boyfriend, when we go out for date night, we have a glass of wine each. So the alcohol in Paris is stronger than the alcohol in South Africa. <laughs> and then he says, okay, no problem, you can say that. So, you know, like now I'm emotional, I'm apologizing. My boyfriend and I, when we go out for date night, we have a glass of wine. And um, the alcohol in Paris is stronger than the alcohol in South Africa. So my mom had always said to me, um, Bonnie, she does not want to get introduced to any guy. The person who I introduced her to, um, so I've never introduced her to anyone, never spoken to her about uh, a boyfriend, nothing of um, of those of that nature. So um, when I say that to my mom, my mom is like, who's the person? I'm thinking, <laughs> very simple. And then, <laughs> okay, out of panic, I say, Ufi Katu. And then she says, Katu a guy. <laughs> so she starts asking me many questions and I can't answer them too. And then eventually she's like, no, call him, I want to speak to him. So I send him a text message 
I said, my mom is going to call me. Uh, he already knew the story, he already knew it. Um, when I go out with my boyfriend. So I'm sure he was like, good shot. <laughs> because I call him and my mom takes my phone and she walks out of the room. She comes back with a big smile on her face. And I'm wondering what is going on. She did not ask me any question after that. Robert Chiba, we went to Paris, Switzerland, um, I can't, oh, and Milan. Then, um, a few days into our trip, Ngori, I decided that I was going to stay in Dubai on my own. She's like, oh, why did you tell me that the reason you wanted to stay in Dubai was because your boyfriend was coming? <laughs> I'm thinking, the boyfriend is coming? How? I mean, after the conversation with my mom, I then decided, oh, okay, fine. Since I already said mm -hmm. I have a boyfriend and I can see Ori, he's, he's been trying to you know, persuade, persuade me. Mm -hmm. Maybe I must give him a chance. So he came to Dubai, we spent a few days in Dubai, and then we came back to SA. When we came back to SA, Nedabi Avenda, and he went back to East London. Mm -hmm. And a week after that, it was his birthday. So I flew to East London. Mm -hmm. And when I got to East London, he was introducing me to everyone as his wife. <laughs> So he never introduced me ever as a girlfriend. So I'm thinking, okay, fine. We went to Dubai three weeks ago. See, and now I'm in East London three weeks later. And three weeks ago he was with all of these people. And now they didn't know of me. Jiggy jiggy, I'm a wife. Three weeks later, uh-uh, this person is playing games with me. We, I was there for the weekend, celebrated his birthday, then that we are there now. And then two weeks after that was Valentine's. And I kid you not, he asked me to marry him. I kid you not, he asked me to marry him. And I thought he was joking because I was like, you know, how? We had known each other for a little over a month. Mara. You know, you, you still do a little bit of research. And rebuild And so I thought, okay, fine, maybe he's just saying he's excited, you know, you laugh. <laughs> then the next morning he said, Mbobo, I said, yes. They said, I asked you to marry me. Do you remember what you said? I said, yes. I said, yes. And he said, were you serious? That way, yes, I was. And then, the rest is history. <sighs> the past couple of days have been the hardest days of my life. And... There is so much going on emotionally, physically, mentally. I don't know if I'm coming, if I'm going, what the future holds, what to expect. You know, even this recording, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. But the question I always ask myself is, what would Katu want me to do? And my husband trained me to be a strong woman. He would have wanted me to say something. Over and above that, I'm a mother. We have a beautiful 21 month old daughter that he loved with all of his heart. And someday she will ask me questions and I will have to answer them. And so I'm doing this for her as well. <sighs> Kanto and I lived a fulfilling life. 
our home was full of joy and happiness. Katu gave me a fairy tale. You know, I hear people complain and say this and this and that. Katu did everything extraordinary. Everything he did was big and larger than life. And today I ask myself if it's because God knew that he, the time we would spend together would be limited. He was very considerate, very loving, very attentive to the smallest of details. I don't know how we ended up together, but the truth is it was a mistake. Everything that happened was a mistake, according to me. But when I look back at it, I realize that it was God. Everything with us happened so quickly, from how we met, when he proposed, when we got married, our child, everything happened so quickly. But Katu's love for me showed me that God loves me over and over and over again. God loves me. And he brought Katu into my life to remind me that he loved me. I do not know how I am going to get through this. But I know God loves me. And he will make a way. I am grateful for the years that I got to spend with him. And I take comfort in knowing that he died a happy man. We were happy. I was happy. He was happy. And I'm thankful. And that in everything that he did in his life, he involved me. He made me feel special. He made me feel wanted. He made me feel like I was enough. I don't know about I don't know Thank you for everything. Thank you for giving me the most amazing yes. Thank you for dedicating your life to me and our daughter. Thank you for loving me so boldly and loudly. Thank you for prioritizing us. Thank you for putting us first. Thank you, Liane Fuma. Thank you for the beautiful memories we made. Thank you for every no I said. Thank you for forcing things, for making sure that I did things that I thought we had time to do. Thank you. I never thought about one. I know I'm not going to work this journey alone. The good food, Baba. Everything happened so suddenly. And my life changed just like that. It is well. What's it for one day now?
Kabuchero oba mutu wa maifia wa. Ene oba achi achira ea hama. Ziko mbeche zauri ngawuru oba mutu wa maifia wa. Ene asituba mutu zwa wa pezi. Adababu aba mkororo. Tolimori nga shpinga ya chamrawe. Chaba yebe yedhi kunguru. Nana musi zodirawa. Zezo ziyambawari. Rika shpida shine ukuda mazi wa gamsana. Dosiko wale rambadiri irirube rote. Ardu. Swami. Rasa kau cakap mana nak ruin boy? Kau tahu apa kau sendal? Jadi tu kau ni jauh mungkin dalam aspi. Mai orang su. Sino, oba sa, ay, aso, te, se, aba, kwa, mbelo, apa, nun. 
Avant que tu commandes la mission, je suis meilleur. La mission est la main de mon roi. Ça va être mon roi. Si nous ne courons pas, nous ne courons pas. Nous ne courons pas. Nous ne courons pas. Nous ne courons pas. Nous ne And because we born, no pain. Or in your mere hinone, ya God. Gore, no ta, na zuzu na kamuchato, wa ba ba tuwa bili. Na vitziwa, na chito bandi hone, di tansi. Sino na yesu chiko ita murali, no ti abana mukeburu. What again, Tanderry? Sinister, Kama chilevo, vavavuwe, hivone michelo yavo. Mara, sino, nge mtimuwo, oripa, udova jama chupinga chavo. So, nikore, rushaka, nitukonani, na mwote, kwa shumisa ninae. Nikore, riko toda, tiketo ya wii. So in the city, the water is not a water. And now, 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 Sine Yesu Sobipa na Tetanga Chamurao. Ivani Tama, Sine na Sobipa, ni Sedeke. Nukono Subeta Suri, Mwona Jichira Nae, Mwona Jichira Zote, Nae. Sino, this, Kalu Shaka, Nukono Temba Suri, Rito Zura, Raelewa, Na Mabunga Ya Ote, Na Mishumu Yawe, Rang tote zana na ri nezori chitanda jangkatu chisongo ba chitanda chosko poswao tibani chine svena mshu so nukori gani matuko tuko nukori mwa tava. Proverbs 16, verse 9, a man's heart makes his plans, but God determines uh, his ways. He decides. So Katu probably had plans to still live with you and you and everyone was here, but God decided otherwise. Obituary, Owen body. Ruzalim body, Nabo Mashudum body, Rich Kwana in Borufu.
Jesus, we all, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, good afternoon. Obituary of the late Mr. Katushiro standing body, it reads. Mr. Katushiro standing body, aged 39, passed away on the 7th August 2023 at Lisedi Private Hospital in Northwest due to a sudden illness. He was born on the 25th January 1984 at Hamucha village to Miss Mutuati Violet Mbodi and the late Miss Day Makwaneri Sydney Mbodi. Katuchiro Stanley Mbodi is the second born of the first set of twins, namely Patuchezo Popi, Chirizim Mbodi and Tendo Mbodi. Katuchero was christened at Faith Mission Church, Kabocha, in 1984. In 1991, the family moved to Toyando, Block F, and later in 2011 again relocated to Toyando Unit D. He grew up with a passion for soccer and fashion. He founded Toyando Mighty Chiefs Football Club and engaged in numerous fashion parades. Katuchero Mbodi married Moporo Lorraine Paswana on 26 September 2020 and was blessed with one child, Chinaka Mbodi. Mr. Katuchero Stanley Mbodi began his early education at Hamuche Primary School in 1990 and moved to Makwarela Primary School in 1992. Katuchero attended Toyando High School in 1997 and concluded his secondary education at Pragmatic Primary School in 2002. Mr. Katuchero Stanley Mbodi held an IT diploma with Central Johannesburg College, Business Management Certificate, Management Advanced Program, MAP Certificate, and Senior Management Development Program SMDP Certificate. Katuchero recently completed his Property Management Certification at the University of Cape Town. Mr. Katuchero Stanley Body started his career at Vodacom Call Center in 2005. He then joined UCS Solution as an IT technician and later promoted to team leader. In 2010, he was appointed head of service delivery and business connection, BCX. Katuchiro worked for various IT companies where he held management roles. In 2013, Katuchiro resigned to venture into business. He was vested in several businesses and had vast interest in IT, construction, hospitality, consulting, real estate, and mining. Through his astute business acumen, Katshiro nurtured and flourished a group of companies. He was the group CEO of Rena Group, Lim Group Minerals, Lim Group Direct. Muranga Panda Projects, KMF Foundation, Link Group ICT, Mox IT Solutions, and a non-executive non director of Miss Heritage Global. Mr. Kalishiro Stanley Body was not merely an entrepreneur but a visionary leader who embraced his role as the driving force behind multiple success projects. Beyond his professional achievements, Mr. Katshiro Stanley Mbodi was a beloved family man, devoted friend, husband, and a general giver and an inspiration to all who cross his path. His warm smile, compassionate nature, 
and generous spirit touches the lives of countless individuals. May the Kashiro standing body and wavering kindness and willingness to lend, to lend a helping hand will forever be remembered by those fortunate enough to have known him. Mr. K, Stanley Boni, is survived by his mother, Motuhaji Violet Boni, his siblings, Chirizi, Tendo, twin sister, Patuchezo, his daughter, Chinakao, two years, and his wife, Mokoro Lorraine Boni. As we bid farewell to his extraordinary individual, let us find solace in the memories we shared with Mr. Katshiro Stanley Body. May his vibrant spirit and unwavering determination live on with each one of us. Let us honor his memory by carrying forward the torch he ignited upholding the principles he held dear and continuing the remarkable legacy he leaves behind. May his soul find eternal peace and may his memory serve a guiding light for generations to come. I thank you. Rosica <laughs> Tunga mutu, 
ri kudwa na maipfi au ri ringatwa misahani utiki wanga bone musi bakati ba ane panazu ino upa chemsu moto kabane ndiri niteka zindiba une zindiba to tashu zei manga hindi Musiri hapa za zino, omushumo uchi oku nyelela, uchi valiwa. Unazuliwa zoto za nyiwa. Ezo shiliwa zoto za nyelwa wone, wote vane mwaba hapa. Zino, vazi umbule uri, na uri hone rote hapa, ropa mba. Una maimu ashu, ropa mba na chianda maimu. Ange ita horoni, o tuzaniwa zuliwa, zine hezo zuliwa, uko huperu wa ufi, kawye, zi VIPs, naba mota. Zi VIPs, vizi, kutupo zi umela uri, kawa mekwaneba ya wapa lanta, horoni, wato tusare ya hoa. Nga vanga chanda chanda chaula unat saving point zono sika taru na ime apala panda abana chitu fuka bada mura wali ruba helia una ime saving point jambore na saving point zono sika nufu edzo kazo rinerote rite ya kazo ratusale musi hoi mshuma wawula wano bera Ri todoba pora ba umbera uri vari faris vari chuse moseri chikoya hange initianda mutawa mbodi asibatu zwa ababe uwe petu mwana uwe vato vana special private place ine kayo vaburu mderwa mwana Ndi hapa hune rakoyo awe za mfunwa washu. Na vamwe wa hawe, na kuchi hawe, wawe na hanige. Sinoroba richikori, richipa hapa nga mura msironola, ritota kwa niyatia, chitakani cha amasha. Ndi hune hune rayo awe za hune mfunwa washu. Pezi kabazi mbibo uri wachisuka nge ipanda Asibote wanoto jena Kana asibote wanoto nero jena Umwezi chianga uri space chashu wa shito wa shukuru Robari chiri musi wachisuka nge ipanda Kabate nge uri Zene zuzune wa kumutu wa zone Kama chimbi jivani nge chitakani chashu Wa baba uza zone Kabazi tendele wane wa shijezo dorara Ndoba nichiri Ngayama infima pfubi Nchifi za mshumo Ndi adoba hunda kumela mra Ndi ngato kumela kamsi farelo zutuku tuku Ndi kubona watu wanchi hapa wachiku wamba Watu waka tifu Shino wako nene kata tishubi sa kubambiri hoku Shino ziyambo ndi mra unyana mara ndi kosele ya umbela faro ane pomchimbi za mshumore nichiyo hona la palapati video wato hona kubambi hili oku mara nikolibu wa mchimbi za mshumore Arikolibu wa thank you so much this is my last time standing in front of you and my closing remarks which would be just to appreciate the bodies and the personas to approach me during these difficult times more so because I was also an MC car, their beautiful, beautiful wedding, and Bopo's 35th birthday celebration. But I want to leave you with the, I want to leave you with the, the words by Joseph in the book of Genesis. He was talking to his brothers, Musikotia Bogorova with Jacob. So Bakosamo Umbera Farero because they tried to sold him, to sell him and do all sort of stuff. So he said to them, the evil you planned against me, God made it for my good. 
ya chivenda yenda reference nga yo apa la iri kunwa yena ngitela mudzimo wushandula uva zvibuyu so arali satani achikupfonga ofedza nga va hamboti satani achikupfonga ofedza nga va hapaswa then he is joking kaba bone mudzimo vachivatakura kaba bone mudzimo vachivapodza kaba bone mudzimo vachibaita chauri na chauri gadzina la yesu dr bishop sk nechi sauva bac gaudo te tokufadza can you come and close with a word of prayer arka korotere na mulenje kariba ko Amen.